Hi, I'm Nicole Harper with Creating Keepsakes Magazine, and today I want to share three different ways to add water elements to your summer pages. So much of our summer memories are spent around water, uh, water parks, sprinklers, the pool, you name it. So we wanted to share a couple ideas on how to add those elements to your pages. So diving right in with our first example, we used a scallop trimmer here to mimic, to mimic the waves and then just layered them on top of one another, adding bling along the, coming out of the photo. Since this photo was taken underwater, that kind of added a fun element to the whole page and made the whole page feel like it was underwater. So let's take a look at our next example. Here we use something completely non-water related, these chipboard flourishes, and we painted them with paint, also hand cutting some matching flourishes to go along with it. If you look closely over here, you can also see the stitching that we added. It almost looks like the, like the water's coming right out of the sprinkler. So that's another fun way to add water. Then in our next example, here. Lots of different water elements on here. There's this hand cut wave that leads your eye all the way across the page. The rub on that's been accented with glitter to kind of make it pop a little bit more and it matches the, the glitter here in the title as well. Also is this rickrack trim which kind of looks like a wave in itself so that's kind of another fun way to add in addition to the water elements that we have here, the pre-made accents. One other fun way to add water to your page here, we use this transparency here as a border. Just like water is transparent, this kind of adds a fun little, almost like bubbles along the bottom of the page here. So now you've seen three new ways to add water elements to your scrapbooks. So don't be afraid to dive right in and add a splash to your pages.